So let's begin. We've got this slow flow class coming up. So let's tune in first, connecting into the body. Shavasana, where we can surrender onto our yoga mats. Notice the feelings within. Is there balance through the physical structure, the body? Start to scan through the body, make changes where you feel you need to. Adjusting to balance. Once you've made those changes, so heels hip distance or a little wider, feet drop. Legs are heavy, our legs are strong. Let them surrender. Keeping the legs out straight, if that causes excessive arching or any pain in the lower back, then bend the legs up, taking pressure off the lumbar spine. Notice across the back of hips and pelvis balanced or different. Curvature of the lower back, does it lift away from the yoga mat? Noticing the natural curve. Keep coming up to mid back and feel it is reconnection. Those lower ribs connecting onto the yoga mat. Keep coming up the back until you feel shoulder blades, let them rest down into the yoga mat. Feeling across right shoulder blade to left shoulder blade, balanced or different. Arms out comfortably wide, palms turn up, gesture of openness and receiving. Chin is tucked down, back of neck is long. Then let the weight of the head release. Soften completely. And then feel the energy within the body. So as you rest onto the yoga mat, are there feelings of dullness, heaviness, lethargy? Is there any underlying shakiness you can feel? Maybe you're still overstressed. We've got busy lives, the nervous system gets overworked. Is there an underlying shakiness through the system? Is there lightness, spaciousness? So if you've got dullness, shakiness, overtired, overstressed, then be gentle this morning through the sequencing, just move gently. If everything's spacious, open and calm, you can work to full range of motion, going stronger where you wish to, but not overworking the body if you're tired and fatigued, not exerting excessively, make sure the breath is flowing. So connecting to the breath now, Slow the breaths to where you can. The breath's a little slower and deeper than your natural rhythm. So start to engage the breath. Each time we breathe in, put a little more breath coming into the body. The exhale sliding out. The inhale, a little more breath through the body. Exhale, releasing out. Keep it going. If you feel you're already at full capacity, then simply maintain that length. Try not to force or push the breath. No gushing or forcing, pushing or pulling. Just remain a quadmus. You're just lengthening the breath to where you can. Doesn't have to be anywhere in particular. Where is it for you? Enjoy it. Enjoy the feeling of breathing slower and deeper. And as we start to deepen those breaths, can we point the toes within the hands? Can we flex the feet with exhales? Breathing in, pointing with the toes. Breathing out, flexion of the feet. You're timing your breaths. Keep the breath slow and steady. Lengthening, deepening. Notice is the jawline relaxed? Are the facial muscles relaxed? 
The next time you breathe in, point your toes, drop your big toes together to touch. Breathe out, feet roll out. Breathe in, toes roll in, touch. Breathe out, feet roll out. Keep it going. Next time your feet meet together, keep them together and keep sipping the breath in. Lift the chest, scoop the belly out, chin tucks down, hold the breath into the body for as long as you can. Then sigh the breath out, feet drop out, surrender completely. Then breathe in, toes roll in and touch in the opposite direction. Breathe out, feet roll out. Twice more in this opposite direction. Last rotation around for you. Bring the toes all the way back in to reconnect. Keep them together. Again, sipping that breath in. Chest lifting, chin tucking. Scoop the lower belly out. And then when you're not able to hold any longer, sigh the breath out. Feet drop out, surrender completely. We push out through the heels, stretch through the backs of the legs. Then inhale, right leg comes in and reach for that leg. Breathing out, roll forehead up towards your knee. Breathing in, lower the head onto the mat. Then squeeze the knee closer to the chest, press it in as close as you can. Exhale, arms and leg releasing out. Inhale, left leg in, reach for it. Exhale, roll forehead towards your knee. Inhale, lower the head onto the mat. Squeeze the knee to the chest, press it down again as actively as you can. And then exhale, arms and leg release. Again, inhale, right leg in, reach for it. Exhale, roll forehead towards the knee. This one, start to move the knee longer away from you. Try to roll higher towards it. Keep breathing. Keep moving knee longer. Can you roll any higher? Try to bring yourself up. And then roll down. Bring the knee to the chest and squeeze it in. So shoulders down, chin down, ribs down. Push the left heel long as that right knee comes in. Squeeze it. And then next exhale, arms and leg release. Inhale, left leg in, reach for it. Exhale, roll forehead to knee, move the knee longer. Keep rolling towards it, try to come higher. Keep breathing into the feeling. We roll down, we're bringing the knee to the chest. Squeeze it in. Chin down, shoulders down, ribs down. Stretch the right heel long. Now squeeze that left knee in. And exhale, arms and leg release. Again, right leg in, breathe in. Exhale, forehead to knee, move the knee long. Keep rolling towards it. Keep breathing, now the shin is pushing away from you. It's as if you'd like to roll back to the mat but not able to. The shin is pushing long. Bend the elbows a little bit wider if you could. Tuck the chin a little bit deeper. Can you find that stretch across middle back, upper back? Keep breathing into this feeling. And then just simply start to bring the knee back to the chest and notice how the body easily rolls back to the mat. Again, squeeze the knee down, chin down, shoulders down, ribs down. Press that left heel long, stretch it away. Right knee squeezing in, keep breathing into the feeling. Start to bring this right knee off to the underarm. Keep bringing it wider and deeper as far as you can. Now once you get it deep, it's going to start resisting. The knee wants to push back into the midline and up to the ceiling. The arms hold it wide and down. So arms holding the knee wide and down, the legs pushing in and up, trying to come into the middle of the body, up to the ceiling. And then exhale, soften. 
Slide the left leg up, cross the right ankle in front of the left thigh. Right hand and knee work against each other. The knee is pushing into the chest, the hand holds it out. Left foot pressed down into the yoga mat. Right ankle against left thigh, is it pressing? Careful of your knees. And then if the stretch is easy, soften, reach through, pick up the left leg, reach around the shin or thigh. Left knee coming into the chest, right knee pressing away. Breathing into your stretch, lengthening, opening. Can you feel it? Inner legs, outer legs, around the buttock, in the hip, where do you notice? Exhale, let the left foot drop to the mat. Take the right leg up to the ceiling. Hold on to that right leg as high as you're comfortable to do. Slide the left leg out along the yoga mat if it's easy. Now feel as if this right leg is pushing back, as if it's pushing back into your hands. As if it wants to come down onto the yoga mat beside the left leg. Keep breathing, arm and leg resisting each other. And then soften, the leg doesn't want to push away anymore, but press your heel up to the ceiling. Hold the leg gently, keep pressing the heel upwards. Press the back of the right buttock hip into the yoga mat. So the back of the hip presses down, the heel pushing up, Stretch up through the back of this right leg. Exhale, firm the lower belly. Roll up, inhale, forehead to leg. Keep moving the leg away from you. Use your arms. Can you pull yourself up any higher to it? And then let go and stay there. Three breaths. Third breath, lower the head, the arms, the leg. Let the whole body release down, soften completely. Then push out through the heels, stretch the legs, and notice do they feel differently. And then inhale, left leg comes in, reach for it. Exhale, forehead to knee, keep moving the knee long as you try to roll to it. And then feel as if that left shin is wants to kick out, push away. Bend the elbows slightly wider. Tuck the chin. So you're trying to roll your back towards the mat. You can't because the shin's pushing long. Can you feel a stretch broadening across the upper back? Breathe into that space, try to broaden and open. And then exhale, simply bring the knee to the chest. Notice how easily the back surrenders. And now bring the knee down, squeeze it down, chin down, shoulders down, ribs down. Now press the right heel down, press it long. Now start to bring the left knee down to the side. Squeeze it down and in, wide to the underarm. Now the left leg's gonna switch on. It wants to push back into the midline and up to the ceiling. Arms hold it out there. Arms and leg resisting each other. Keep breathing. Make sure you're not holding your breaths. And then exhale, soften. The knee is no longer resisting. Then slide the right leg up. Put the right foot on the mat. Left ankle crosses in front. And the left hand on this left inner leg, push it out away. The leg's resisting. It's pushing in against the hand. Right foot press into the yoga mat. Right hand on right hip, are we balanced? Left ankle against right thigh. And then soften if the stretch is easy enough. Reach through, pick up the right leg. Bring the right knee up towards the right side chest. Left knee, switch on the leg. Try and press the left knee away as you bring your right knee in closer. 
Squeeze behind your knees actively, flex your feet to protect your knees. And then exhale fully, right foot down to the mat. Left leg, take it up to the ceiling. Hold around the back of the leg as high as you're comfortable to do. And then slide the right leg out long if it's easy. Now this left leg is pushing away. It wants to go down on the mat beside the right leg. So the arms are holding it, resisting it. This left leg's trying to push down onto the floor. Keep breathing again. Make sure you're not holding your breath. And then soften. And now just stretch the heel up to the ceiling. Feel this left heel pushing up. At the same time, feel you're pressing the left buttock and hip down into the mat. Heel pushing up, buttock pressing down. Keep breathing. Exhale, firm the lower belly. Roll up forehead towards your leg. Keep moving the knee longer away from you. Try to pull yourself up higher to it. And then stay there, let go. And can you stay there for three breaths? Third exhale, lower the head, the arms, the leg. And let the whole body surrender down. Coming down to the mat, rebalance if you're out of alignment. Readjust, and then gently rock the head side to side. Gently mobilize the neck. If there's any tension, hold the head into that tight spot. But gently keep moving, mobilizing the neck. through center, tuck the chin down, if the ribs pop up, bring them down, tuck the tailbone, length of the lower back, then push your heels out, feel the back body stretching and lengthening, bring a slow deep breath all the way up through the body, breathe out, flatten the front body into the back body, hold the breath out for as long as you can. When you're ready to breathe in, soften. Feel the natural curves through the body again. Feel the legs drop. And then bend the legs up, feet on the yoga mat, hip distance parallel. Turn the palms down and beside the body. Then tuck your tailbone. Can you feel your lower back flatten into the yoga mat? Press the feet down and then start to roll the hips up off the mat. Bring the arms up and over and reach them long. As you come up higher, you might feel the back come back into its extended position. The pelvis is no longer tucked. You're reaching up and lengthening back. If there's any pain in your lower back, lower your hips again a little bit more and tuck your tailbone. Otherwise, keep it neutral. Just let it lift to where it can, opening up. Push your feet down into the yoga mat. Feel they're pushing long away from you. Do you feel the arms reaching out further behind you? Do you feel your chest lifting any higher? Keep breathing into these feelings. Next inhale for you, lift your heels or toes off the mat. Rolling down, vertebra by vertebra. Bring the buttocks and arms down. As many breaths as you need. Bring the knees into the chest. Take the legs up to the ceiling. Flex the feet. Push the heels up. Wide legs as you exhale. Inner heels up and out. Stretch wide, stretch long. Inhale, bring the legs back up together. Heels push up and stretch. Exhale, bend. Feet onto the mat. Hip distance parallel. 
Tuck the tailbone, feel the lower back flatten. Push the feet down and roll the hips up, actively lifting. Arms reaching over, stretching. Keep lifting up as high as you can. Feet press down, arms stretch longer. Can you feel the energy coming into the chest, hips coming up? Slow the breaths in and out. Try to breathe all the way up through your front body. Next inhale again, lift heels or toes, whichever feels best for you. Roll it down. Exhale, we roll down as many breaths as you need. Balance right and left sides of the body. Knees to the chest and one more set. Legs go up, inhale, flex the feet. Wide legs, exhale, inner heels up and out, stretch wide, stretch long. Inhale, the legs up together, push the heels up, stretch. Exhale, bend, feet onto the mat, hip distance parallel. Push down, tuck the tailbone, roll the hips up, arms up and over. And just noticing that those hips come into their neutral position again. Lifting up, chest opening up, arms reaching back. Feet are they balanced as they press down. Not letting the knees fall away. Imagine there's a block between your inner thighs. Squeeze in on it. As the feet press long, do the arms stretch long? Can we slow the breaths? Deeper and slower through your body as you hold up. One more breath all the way up through the body. Then lift your heels or toes and roll it down. Balance each side of the back all the way down. Vertebra by vertebra. Bring the knees into the chest, this time wrap the arms around the legs, hug them in, rock your body side to side. Gently mobilizing, massaging across the back. Come back to a stillness. Once you do, rock your head side to side again. Gently mobilize. Keep the chin down, back of neck long. When you're ready, head centered. Relax the shoulders. Give yourself a moment in a stillness. Then release the arms, roll to your right side. Come up on the hands and knees into your four point position. So shoulders above wrists, spread the fingers, hips above knees, neutral spine. Dip on your inhale, pull the chest through, looking up. Tuck the tailbone, roll the spine, look in towards the navel. Keep it going, dipping and rolling. Mobilize where you can. Next time you're looking at your navel, stay there. Once you're back there, push your hands down to the yoga mat as actively as you can. As they push down, do you feel the upper back broadening? Chinning deeper to notch your throat, gently stretching your neck. Knees and feet, press them down. Knees pulling forward, tailbone tucking under. Keep breathing.
Could we tuck the toes under? Can we stretch toes and arches of feet? Press the buttocks back towards the heels to where you can. If it's too intense, ease up and down a few times. Otherwise, stretching those toes and arches of feet. Shoulders broad, chin in and up. Lift the buttocks, let the toes point out behind you. Take the buttocks all the way back to the heels. Elbows drop, forehead surrender, take a lower bend. Press into the shins, full exhalation. Drag the arms in as you roll your back up, vertebra by vertebra. Chin tuck the whole way, the head will come up last. Once you do, continue with the flow, let the arms float up. Look up if it's easy on the neck. Hands forward onto the mat, shoulder distance, sliding long. Look up through the hands, shoulders broad across the back, hands press into the mat, glide through. Keep those shoulders sealed back, bring the chest through to where you can. Press tops of feet, arch up as high as you're comfortable to do. Lower the chest down, both legs lift off the mat. Chest now lifted as high as you can as the legs. Feel the hands dragging back. Feel that strength through your back body. Now lower the legs down, arch the chest up again, seal those shoulders down. Downward facing dog, tuck or roll, take the buttocks up. Walk the legs out on the spot, bend and straighten. Hips side to side, shoulders, neck mobilize. Find the stretch. And when you're ready, come back to a stillness. Push away from the foundations, make sure they're active and weighted evenly. And as you press your foundations into the yoga mat, what do you feel occurring through the stretch, through the posture? Can you slow your breaths into whatever you're feeling? Exhale fully, lower to your knees. Gentle dip of the spine again, looking up. Take the buttocks all the way back to the heels, have a rest. Forehead rest, if there's pinching in the shoulders, elbows wider, further back. Take a moment again, surrender. Regathering the energy, recouping the energy, a moment softening. Press the shins down through the yoga mat. Exhale, firm the lower belly. Round the back up. Keep the shins pressing down, supporting the back as you roll up. Chin tucked all the way. And again, we continue. Wide arms and up. Reach up, stretch up, lift your body. Reach forward onto the mat. Shoulder distance, sliding long. Keep shoulders broad, hands active. Glide the chest through. Keep pressing those hands down through the mat. Do you feel more strength gliding through? Lower the chest down, both legs off the mat again. Chest and legs to same height, strengthen your back body. Hands drag back, feel the chest project long. Then lower the legs down and inhale, arch up. Cobra up dog to where you can. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up. Stretch back long. Soon as you're ready, right leg going straight up. Flex the foot, hips squared, stretch it away. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back, push the floor away. Then step right foot through, left knee down. Wide arms coming up, shuffle that foot further through if you didn't get it through. Hands on hips, exhale, balance up. Push into the foundations, balance the pelvis. Looking up, forward or down, your choice. And then once you're balancing the pelvis, arms coming up, reaching up, stretching up. And then one more breath, reaching up. Wide arms and down, step forward, front of mat, feet hip distance. Pull your chest forward, extend your spine. 
Body to the legs, hold on to the back of the ankles, bend the legs as much as you need, ribs on thighs. Tuck the chin in and up, elongate the back of the neck. As you press the feet down, can you feel the legs engaging, stretching? Push down through the mat, full exhalation. Wide arms come up, clasp your hands, turn your palms up. Arch up, stretch your front body, careful of lower back and neck. And then neutral spine, come back to neutral, focus the eyes, feel the difference in the posture, and then lift both heels off the mat, can we balance? One more breath, exhale, slowly lower the heels down. Keep the spine, the body in its neutral alignment. Arms to the right, hips to the left. Breathe up along that left side body. Open it up as much as you can. And inhale, center, second side. Arms left, hips right. Now breathe up along your right side body. Open it up. Inhale, center, arch up, stretch up, wide arms and down, backs of hands beside the feet, head heavy, arms and shoulders, let them drop. Bend the legs, ribs on thighs, as close as you can get. Feel there's a complete surrendering. Can you feel your back body lengthening? Gravity pulling you down longer. Inhale, lift the heart, extend the chest, hands in front for the balance. Lift the left leg out behind you, standing on the right. Right arm wide. Could you balance left arm coming up? A version of Virabhadrasana 3, if you're stronger, arms in front. If you've got back issues, the arms do not go forward. Three breaths. And then hands down, step the left leg out long. Slide the left wrist down below the shoulder. Twisted lunge, take the right arm up. Look up to it. If it's easy, long arm beside the ear. Roll the chest up, keep the face turning up as much as you can. Now stretch the yoga mat with your feet, right foot pushing forward, left foot pushing back. Exhale, circle the right arm down. Can you pull the front toes up? Back heel, stretch it down. If it's too intense, put the right knee on the floor, sorry, left knee on the floor. Keep breathing, stretching through the legs. Front foot flattens, push away from it and step back to your down dog. Take the buttocks up, stretch back low. Subtle adjustments as you hold into your posture. Feet, do they press down? Are you pushing away from your hands? If your back is rounded, bend the legs a little bit more and try and extend the spine. If you're dropping in towards your legs, lift away from them, strengthen your body. Slow the breaths into whatever you're feeling. Exhale fully, lower to your knees. Gentle dip of the spine, looking up. Buttocks all the way back to the heels, rest. Forehead resting, stack the hands if you need. 
Shoulders pinching, elbows further back. Take a moment, surrender completely. Press the shins down through the yoga mat. Exhale fully. Drag or walk the arms in. Again, round your back up. Creating length along the spine as you roll it up. Vertebra by vertebra. Again, continue the flow. Arms float up. Look up if it's easy on your neck. Hands forward onto the mat, slide them out long. Look up through the hands, keep those shoulders broad, hands pressing. Glide through, hands push down to glide through, bring the chest through as much as you can. Then lower the chest down and lift both legs off the mat. Chest and legs now the same height, do you feel your back body strengthen? Where do you notice? Hands drag back, feel the chest project long, seal your shoulders back. Lower the legs, arch the chest up, deep breath in. Down the facing dog, exhale, take the buttocks back. Give yourself a moment, push away from your foundations. Feel the lengthening, the opening. Next inhale, left leg straight out behind you. Flex the foot, push the heel away. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back. Push away from the floor. Left foot steps through, right knee lowers down. Arms coming up, reaching up. Hands under the hips as you exhale. Move that foot a little bit further through if you need. Balancing the hips, and when you're ready, the arms can go up again. Slow the breaths, foundations active. Next inhale, reach for the ceiling, stretch up to fingertips. Wide arms are down, step forward, front of mat. Feet hip distance. Pull the chest forward, extend the spine. Exhale, fold your body to your legs. Hold the back of the ankles. Bend the legs to get ribs on thighs. Let the head become heavy. Tuck the chin in to protect the neck where you need. Do you feel the body lengthening? Back body stretching. Start to bend the legs a little bit more. Slide the hands up higher to the calf muscles. Round the back out behind you. Bring the forehead to kneecap height. Hands and calves press against each other. Do you feel the shoulders broaden, the back more rounded? Breathe into that feeling of broadness and opening. And then hands slide down the back of the legs, come deeper down into the legs. Push the feet down through the mat, full exhalation. And then rise up, wide arms coming up. Clasp the hands, turn the palms up, arch up, stretch up. And then simply let the arms drop beside you, stand tall, mountain pose to us now. Close the eyes. Standing tall, front edge of mat, do you feel balanced? Unlock the knees, feet pressed down. Pelvis is it neutral, not tucked under, not tilted? Does it feel it's centered? Natural curves through your spine. Do your shoulders relax down into your body? Tuck your chin in and up or in and back. A little bit of elongation on the back of the neck until you feel the muscles switch on, supporting the weight of your head. Slow the breaths. And then hands on hips, open the eyes. A simple balance for chest and neck. Can we bring the right foot up? to the inside of that left leg, 
Place the foot inside edge, knee wide, hips balancing. And then hands at heart center if it's easy, or wide arms if you feel unstable. Can we balance? Can we breathe? Relax the upper body. Tongue in the mouth, soft. Hands on hips, right knee around in front or toe tip on the floor. Lift the leg, flex the foot, push it out. And then as slowly as you can, lower the right foot back down onto the mat, underneath that front right hip. Shift the weight into it, left foot comes up when you're ready. Place the left foot in a right leg, above or below the knee, where is it for you? Working that left knee wide, hips balancing, wide arms or hands at heart center, where is it for you? Relax the upper body, focus the eyes, center down, tip of nose will help you to balance, tongue in the mouth soft, shoulders relaxed. Hands on hips, left knee around in front or toe tip on the floor. Lift the leg, flex the foot as slowly as you can. Left foot lowers down underneath that front left hip. So feet hip distance parallel. Check them if you need to. Bring the head up to neutral. Close the eyes, be still. How does it feel through the legs? Standing back on both feet again. Is there balance? Is there symmetry? Equal weight through the body. What does it feel like? Are we balanced? Then turn the palms out, stretch the fingers long. Sweep up, look up, stretch up. Wide arms to the mat, let backs of hands drop beside the feet. Bend the legs, ribs on thighs, as close as you can get. Head heavy, chin and up, protect the neck, stretch it. Start to press the feet down through the mat, legs engaging. Pull the chest forward, extend, hands in front for the balance. Lift the right leg up behind you. Left arm wide, right arm wide. If you're stronger, arms in front. If you've got back issues, the arms do not come forward. Three breaths. Then hands come down, step that right leg out long, stay on the ball of the foot. Right wrist stacks below the shoulder, left arm up, twisted lunge, looking up. If it's easy, long arm beside the ear. If you lose the twist, keep the arm up. If the neck is sore, look down if you prefer. Now stretch the yoga mat, push the left foot forward, right foot back. Feel those legs really engaging. And then exhale, left hand circles down. Pull the left toes up, stretch the right heel long. Bend the right knee as much as you need to or lower the right knee to the mat. Stretch down along this left leg, toes pulled up, heel digging in. The front foot flattens and then push away, step back to your down dog. Take the buttocks off. Unlock the knees, unlock the elbows. Stretch and lengthen. Feeling into the downward facing dog, where do you notice? Breathing into these feelings that grab your attention.
but it doesn't matter which leg. One leg up behind you, stretch it back. Step it up through your hands so you can turn to the long edge of your yoga mat. Wide feet, hold your elbows, hang down in your forward bend. Unlock the knees and let your upper body surrender. Press your feet down through the yoga mat. Inner outer edges, are they balanced? Body heavy and long, let it pull down long. As you press the feet down, do you feel the buttocks stretching up or back? Any more length available? Change the grip on the elbows on natural side. Change is occurring, any lengthening, any releasing. And then let the arms drop. Sweep wide, come up slowly if you've been down too long. Keep the chin tucked if you need to. And then wide arms and up when you're ready. Down to shoulder height, palms down. Trikonasana, turn your right foot out long. Left heel push long, breathe in, and as you exhale, reach to your right, leg, ankle, foot, big toe bind if you get there, and find your stretch. Keep reaching, lengthening, body in line with that front leg, not in front of it. Foundations pressing, spine long. Crown of head long, chin tucks. Then top arm, bring it long beside the ear, stretch. And then circle it down. Push away from the foundations, rise up, turn it second side. Feet to the left, breathe in. Exhale, reach to your left. Leg, ankle, foot, big toe bind, wherever you get to. Push into the feet again, are they balanced? Legs unlocked, spine long, arms long. Are you in line with that front leg, not in front of it? Keep breathing. Then top arm long beside the ear, stretch it. Sweep it down, come all the way up, arms keep them out wide at shoulder height. Turn your feet to the right and lunge on your right knee. So shuffle the foot along and come deeper into your lunge. Now push away, straighten the leg back, inhale, don't let it lock. Exhale, lunge. Again, straighten the leg back. Exhale, lunge. Make sure the knee tracks to the middle toes, not collapsing in or out. Push back again. And exhale, lunge. Hold into this one. Could you lift that front heel for a moment and push away from both feet? Bring the heel down again. If your both legs are active, so you're not collapsing on that front hip. Spine straight up. Arms reaching out. And then turn the palms up, reverse the warrior, lean to your back leg, stretch and lengthen. Feel it's the side body opening for you. And then exhale, right forearm to thigh, left arm up and over, side angle stretch. Feel the top side of the body lengthen. Maybe you're feeling it inside of your legs. Keep stretching and lengthening. Try not to hang the head, lift your body. If it's easy, base arm down inside of your leg or on the underside of the head, making the posture stronger or deeper if you wish to. Push away to come up. Bring the arms to shoulder height and turn your feet to the left. When you're ready, breathe in and as you exhale, lunge. Push back, straighten on the inhale. Don't let the leg lock. Exhale, lunge. 
Again, inhale, push back, track the knee, make sure it's middle toes. One more, push back, and then exhale, lunge. Knee stacks above the heel. If the foot needs to come further forward for that alignment, do so. And could you lift your heel off the floor on that front foot? Feel that you're pushing through both feet actively. Bring the heel down again. Keep pushing through both legs nice and strong. Then reverse the warrior, turn the palms up. Lean to your back leg. Feel the stretch on the side body opening. Slow to breath. Exhale, left forearm to thigh, right arm up and over, stretch it long. Feel the top side body elongate. And if you wish to take it deeper, base hand down inside of the leg, reaching deeper or arm of the underside of the head. So again, wherever you wish to take it, resting or arm down the inside edge, arm up beside the head. Push away from the feet, coming up. Keep the feet wide as you turn them forward, wide arms, and come back down through those legs, surrendering into your wide leg forward fold. Come down as deep as you're comfortable to do. Feed the crown of head, body through the legs as deep as you can, and find your forward fold. Stretching, elongate. Lift the head and chest, turn to the front edge of your mat and step it back to your downward facing dog. It's just a transition, feel through the posture for a moment, stretch it, elongate, find the length, enjoy it for that moment, stretch it and then ease down onto your knees. Coming through to sit, cross legs the best way you can get there. Cross through the feet or swing the legs to the side and easy cross legs. We're twisting to the right. If you're falling away, prop the hips up, roll the mat up. Turn and look around behind your right shoulder. Right shoulder back, take the chest back. Feel where the rotation is for you. Face forward, body follows all the way to the left. Shoulder, chest around, looking back. Again, notice this feeling. Inhale, face forward, body centers. Could you change the legs, crossing the unnatural leg in front? And then when you're ready, twist to your right again. Shoulders, chest around. Face forward, body follows all the way to the left. Inhale, face forward, body follows. Assist the legs to come up. Slide them out in front. Give them a rub down, give them a shake out. Roll shoulders, mobilize the neck, do whatever you need to. Make sure there's plenty of mat behind you. Roll the back down. Support the back if there's an injury or soreness. Ease down. Those of you coming up to shoulder stand, you're welcome to invert the body. Those of you happy to rest down, simply surrender onto your mat. From the buttocks to the shoulders, if you roll down, the back should be in its alignment. Try not to readjust it. Arms out, palms turn up, feet dropped away. Completely surrender. Is there balance? Can we surrender into these feelings, letting go? Those 
those of you that have inverted, makes your triceps are working, you're strong in your lifting. Those of you surrendering, soften. You notice the mind wandering away. Can you bring it back to breath? As simply as the breath comes in and out of the body, let the mind rest into that ebb and flow of the breath. Equanimity of the mind as you connect with the breath. No needing to hold the breath in forever or hold it out. Let the breath flow naturally. The body has its own instinct of when to breathe in and breathe out. Tune into that. Just let yourself be. to the breath. Just gently keep easing it back in. Breath deepen, rub thumbs and fingers, wriggle toes. Opening, closing hands and flexing feet back and forth. Circling the joints, ankles and wrists, full rotation. Opposite direction in your time. And then stretch the arms up and over, reach long, and sigh and soften, twice more. Last stretch, then bend the legs up, roll to your right, move slowly, come up to sit. If you need to, make sure you prop the hips up when you sit. If knees are higher, prop the hips up. If you're falling out in your lower back, prop the hips up. Tuck the chin in and up. Shoulders balanced above the hips, not leaning forward or falling back. Slow the breaths in and out. Coolness of the incoming breath, warmth of the outgoing breaths. And 
Next exhale for you, exhale fully. And inhale, direct your breath awareness up your left nostril. Exhale, right nostril. Inhale, right nostril. Exhale, left nostril. Again, inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. If you wish to do full Nadi Shadha, bring up the right hand, seal off the right nostril, and then inhale again, left nostril. Seal it off, open the right. Exhale, fully. Inhale, right nostril. Seal it off, open the left. Exhale, fully. Again, in alternating your timing, your breaths. If the hand's annoying you, release it off. If you've got blockages, perhaps keep the hand released. Work the breaths where you can. Exhale, left nostril and then let the arm release. Exhale, left and then return to natural breath. Give yourself a moment. Is there more balance, spaciousness, perhaps more equanimity of the mind, of the body? We're not pushing and pulling, we're simply being in the moment as it is. sweep wide and up, connect the hands together, touch to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips. As we move through life, we have kind words. And bring the hands to the heart. As we move through life, we have compassion and we have kindness. Namaste. Fold the body, stretch long. If you're still and rock it out, your choice. And then roll it up. And finishing in your time. 